After resuscitating their ailing campaign in Melbourne last weekend, Canberra faced another sizeable challenge against a Canterbury unit who had pushed Premier St George Illawarra to the brink seven days earlier. Although at least they had the advantage of being familiar with the conditions on a night when temperatures went into the low single figures. While the likes of Josh Dugan and Michael Ennis were in camp with New South Wales, the Blues 18th man Jamal Idris was free to play. And he certainly made his presence felt with some furious origin-like defence. Tilson's been hit with a couple of heavy ones. Well, David Stagg was in it, Reynolds was in it, mainly Stagg. And Idris has got involved. The Bulldogs had all the field position for the opening 10 minutes, but the hosts held firm. And on their first foray into enemy territory, they came up trumps in a frenzied final tackle movement. Pick has got the ball. Chance for the green team. It's gone away to McCrone. He spreads it. Fenson, can he unload? He can. Harrison catch pass. Thompson will score. Joel Thompson scores. A boomer of a try for Canberra. Now you should be chuckling. Filling in for Ennis at hooker, Josh Reynolds made an eye-catching debut and almost marked his special night with a four-pointer, only to be prevented from getting it down. Exactly two minutes later, the Raiders received another bonus, courtesy of Canterbury captain Andrew Ryan. Oh, intercepted! Robinson's away! And you can forget about that. Robinson, 100 out of 100 on his performance thus far. Jared Croker's conversion of the Robinson snatch and grab stayed online. And that helped the Green Machine go out to a handy lead of 10-0 with half the game gone. Young Canberra halfback Sam Williams tried to keep the dogs on a long leash by attempting a 40-20 well before the fifth tackle. And while Ben Barber did well to stop it, he actually got more trouble than he bargained for. Robinson swoops! The Raiders' Reese Robinson cashed in, and the reward for his zealous pursuit was interchange forward Joe Picker powering over. Joe Picker! He's made one possible and scored one! 16 0 on a treacherous surface was a long way back for the Bulldogs before it became a little bit longer when Frank Pritchard was pinged in the play the ball. And Jared Croker made no mistake with the effortless extras. There's the kick from Croker. Behind by three converted tries, the Blue and Whites finally defrosted with just over an hour gone. Pritchard! Pritchard got it away! There's got to be a try! Josh Morris has scored! Taking him close to 60 tries for his career. Josh McCrone had the perfect opportunity to just about wrap it up for the Raiders, but duffed a sitter. That's a shocker. McCrone's embarrassment over that awful attempt was magnified a mere 30 seconds later when Barber followed up his skillful forwards, Frank Pritchard and Greg Eastwood. Barber's going to make it. Barber scores 10th try of the year. Oh, he's a beauty. He's a beauty. Now we've got a game. Canberra's Glenn Buttress tried to sneak over, but just like bullpup Reynolds in the first half, he was deemed to have illegally burrowed through his teammate who had played the ball. Fortunately for the hosts, that decision didn't hurt them, as Croker slotted another penalty goal in the closing stages to guarantee the outcome they wanted. 2012 was how it ended, giving Canberra back-to-back -back victories after eight straight defeats with a bye to come next week, followed by the long-awaited return of gun pivot Terry Campisi. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.